Chihuahuas may not have the same reputation as Huskies or Malamutes do for shedding, but it can still feel like a lot of hair. And I mean a lot. Luckily, it's actually not that hard to reduce your dog's shedding to almost nothing, and it's easy to do at home. You'll need a few tools to get started, and you may want to look at some long-term changes if your dog is a serious shedder. Let's start with the tools for the de-shedding treatment itself. You're going to need a Zoom Groom, or a similar type of rubber tooth curry comb. You also need shampoo and a good quality conditioner. There are lots of de-shed conditioners out there, but any conditioner will work to get the loose fur slippery and help it come out. If you don't have a strainer or other fur catcher for your bath or sink, get one. You do not want all that hair that is going to come off stuck in your plumbing. These are the minimum tools to get the job done. But a nice addition to this is the Sleek Easy brush, which works similar to a Furminator, but is a little bit gentler on the coats. We'll be using this in the video to finish off the coat. Start by pre-brushing your dog with a curry comb. Make circular motions, starting just above your dog's hocks in the back, and above the elbows in the front. Set a timer for about 5 minutes and keep gently brushing all over your dog's body. If your dog is super itchy from the shedding, this should be a relaxing experience for your pet. While the bulk of your brushing should be done with a Zoom Groom, giving the coat a once over with a Sleek Easy can help remove a lot of coat. Always go with the grain of the coat when using this particular tool. The pre-brushing helps by getting the loosest hair off and opening up space for the shampoo and conditioner to get deep down into the coat. We want to remove as much loose hair as possible at this time so it's not swirling around your house later. Next, we'll bathe the dog. Bring your rubber curry to the bath for this stage. Once you've gotten the soap worked into your dog's coat, use a rubber curry comb and brush the shampoo through the coat. I'd suggest spending a full minute working the shampoo through the coat and down to the skin. Completely rinse the dog and then work the conditioner into the dog's coat in the same way. Once again, using the rubber curry comb. It's important to let the conditioner sit on the coat a few minutes so it has time to work. Two to three minutes usually works best. The conditioner's job is to loosen the fur that is ready to come out, nourish your pet's skin, and make the fur more slippery so it brushes out easier later. None of this can happen if you rinse it out right away. After you have brushed it through the coat several times and have let it soak in, thoroughly rinse the dog. Let your dog's coat completely dry and brush it one more time. Set a timer to help make sure you are brushing a full 5 minutes and see if more hair comes out. Often, the conditioner releases even more than what you got in the bath and pre-brush, and you can get another large amount of hair off then. If there's no hair coming off in the post-brush, you are probably free of hair for the next few weeks. Otherwise, let your dog's skin and coat rest until the next day and brush them again to try and get the rest of the hair out. This is usually enough to get the bulk of the shedding handled, but if your dog seems to shed way more than any natural chihuahua should, it's time to look at additional solutions. Supplements such as omega-3 fatty acids can help reduce shedding, as well as making sure your dog is on a high quality diet. Excessive shedding can also sometimes be a sign of illness, so if your dog chronically sheds, ask your veterinarian to check for underlying issues. For the average dog, however, this should be enough to have your dog's coat shining, and your coffee free of dog hair. This is the end of this episode. Visit us at allthingschihuahua.com for more information on grooming, training, and caring for your chihuahua.